Hello and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson all about the Industrial Revolution. And today we're going to make an infographic about four important inventions from the Industrial Revolution uh, and how they changed Britain. I've chosen the stationary steam engine, uh, the spinning jenny, the power loom and the steam locomotive, better known as the steam train. So to start with, I'm just going to add the names of my four inventions. So I've got this first one, stationary steam engine. So I'm just going to highlight the text and press Control C to copy it. I'm going to go to Adobe Express. Uh, I'm just going to click on the page and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control V just to paste it onto my page. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing for my other inventions. So there we go, they're my four inventions. Uh, I'm just going to highlight all of them and uh, make them the same size and the same font. Uh, I'm going to press this drop down arrow next to where it says Source Sans 3. So that Source Sans 3 is the font that they are at the moment. If I press this drop down arrow, uh, I can go for a different one. Uh, there is one that I have in mind. I like this one, Ottomana P1 regular. Uh, if I click this, that's a really nice uh, font. Just going to increase the size slightly. Uh, and I'm just going to arrange my headings around the page like this. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I've just got uh, two or three bullet points about each of these inventions, which basically explains what they are uh, and how they contributed to industrial growth. So how they uh, sped up the manufacturing process, so the process of making products, um, or how they might have sped up the transportation of products in the case of the steam locomotive. So uh, if I go back to my document here, um, I can just copy uh, my notes I've made here. So go to my page, just click the page and press Control V. So I'm just going to put this one here uh, and I'm going to do the same for my other ones. So there we go. Um, for these facts, I actually want to make them a different font uh, to the title. So I'm just going to click on one of them, press the drop down arrow uh, and I'm going to choose. Uh, this looks quite nice. Adobe Garamond Pro, uh, probably make it about size 25 and I can do the same for the other three. So there we go. I've got my titles with my facts, um, but I do want these to be bullet points just like they were in my document. So I'm just going to select this a uh, bit of text here and I'm going to hover over here where it says bullet points. Uh, and I'm just not going to do numbered ones. I'm just going to do it with the bullet points themselves. Great. So I've got the text that I need for my work here. Uh, and now I want an accompanying image for each of these. Uh, I want the readers to be able to see what this invention actually looked like. Um, so I'm going to start with a stationary steam engine. A stationary steam engine obviously is a steam engine that didn't move like a train. It just stayed in one place. It used steam to create power. Uh, so it powered mills and factories to make things like cotton and iron. Uh, and of course, it increased production. It allowed people to make things faster. So I'm going to go to Wikimedia Commons. Uh, the most famous uh, stationary steam engine was made by Watt, James Watt. So I'm going to go for Watt steam engine uh, in Wikimedia Commons and see what comes up. Lots of choices here. Uh, quite like the look of this one. This looks good. Uh, we can see this image is in the public domain, so anyone can use it. So I'm just going to press a right click. Uh, I'm going to go to copy image and I'm going to go to our work here. I'm going to click on the page and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control V. There we go. Just going to put this over here with our first bit of information about the stationary steam engine. And now I'm going to go to Wikimedia Commons and add an image for my other inventions. So there we go, I've added an image for each of my inventions, uh, but I think I'm gonna try and improve the design and make it a look a bit more interesting now. So I'm gonna add a bit of paper behind each of these designs, almost as if an engineer um, has designed it on a bit of paper. So I'm gonna to go to elements and I'm gonna type in paper. Uh, and I like the first result that comes here. It's got a really nice shadow, which uh, makes it really three dimensional. And uh, I'm just gonna add one of these behind each of my pictures. So just gonna make it the right size. Uh, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to reorder this. So I'm going to press uh, center back. So I right click center back and it will just go behind the picture. Just neaten it up a little bit. Uh, and, and for all of my pictures, I'll add a little bit of paper behind each one. So there we go. I think that's looking pretty good. I've added a bit of paper behind each image. Uh, makes it look a bit more interesting. But what I am going to do is, uh, especially these sort of sketches I've got for the power loom, spinning jenny and the steam locomotive. Um, I think I can remove the background of those and it will actually look like the drawing is on the paper itself. So we'll start with the spinning jenny over here. So a spinning jenny uh, was used to create yarn for textile making uh, and it could do that very, very quickly. So I'm going to select the image there. I'm going to press remove background. Uh, there we go. I think that looks really good. It looks like it's on the page and I'm going to do the same for the steam locomotive. So I think now we're going to go for a title uh, and we're going to have it. We're going to call it inventions of the industrial revolution. Uh, so I'm going to go to text, add your text. Uh, I'm going to start with just inventions, nice and big. Uh, I'm going to put it in the middle of my page. I'm not really a big fan of this font, so I'm going to select this text uh, and I'm going to press the drop down menu here. 
Uh, here's one I like, Vortis concept. I think that looks really, really nice. Sort of fits the theme. Uh, and now I'm going to go to add your text and I'm going to put of the industrial revolution. Just reduce the size of that and just put it underneath. So I think we're looking pretty good. Um, now I want to think about maybe using a couple of elements um, that kind of fit in with the theme of invention. Um, so maybe I'll go for kind of like a light bulb uh, and also maybe some like engineers graph paper as a background just to make it look a bit more interesting uh, and make a choice that fits in with the theme of invention. So I'm just going to go to elements and I'm going to search in design assets for uh, let's put in graph paper, see what we get. I think this one looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to rotate it. Uh, I'm just going to make it fit the page. So grab one of these handles in the corner to increase the size. Obviously, I need to reduce the opacity of it, which is how see through it is. So I'm going to click on it. Uh, I'm actually first going to make sure it goes to the back layer. So on my layer stack here, I'm just going to drag it all the way to the bottom. And I'm just going to reduce the opacity of it. So it's a lot more subtle. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I think I'll go for a light bulb now. So I'm on elements, design assets, going to go for a light bulb. Now, obviously, there's not much color on our page. I think that's okay. Uh, because we're going for you know an 18th 19th century look but I sort of think that the light bulb could just be like one element um, that is colorful uh, so I might go for this just reduce the size maybe put it above there now it's inventions of the industrial revolution so it might be nice just to have a little icon to do with the industrial revolution so if I go to elements uh, I'm actually going to go straight to icons and I'm going to go for factory because of course during the industrial revolution loads and loads of factories were built because uh, they were able to manufacture and make products so much faster due to these inventions. So uh, it's good to put a little factory in there. So here's one, I like the look of this one. This looks quite sort of 18th, 19th century. Just gonna reduce the size uh, and maybe just place it over here. I think that'll look pretty nice. Now I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, I think I'm just gonna add some arrows because um, it'll look like hand-drawn arrows. I think it goes with that kind of design inventor theme. So I'm gonna go to elements, design assets, just search for arrow see what comes up I think this one looks pretty good uh, and I'm just going to add an arrow uh, to go with each one uh, at the moment the stationary steam engine picture is kind of standing out a bit because it's in color and the other ones aren't that's a simple fix I'm just going to select the picture here uh, I'm going to press effects and I'm going to click grayscale and I think that just fits in a bit better uh, with the rest of our work now the last thing is I think that this infographic is crying out for a frame around the outside so I'm going to press on elements on the side uh, I'm on design assets and I'm going to search for frame and I want something a bit grubby and a bit dirty uh, to really go with that sort of industrial revolution feel um, so I'm going to go for this one so I just clicked it it's jumped onto my page uh, I'm going to rotate it uh, and I'm going to see if it fits on my page because it might not in which case uh, I might need to put two of them and use them together okay so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to use one frame to cover two sides so the left and the right side uh, and I'm going to add a second frame to do the top and the bottom. Okay, my second frame I could just use as the, the bottom bit of frame. Uh, I'm actually going to add a third one for the top. So I end up with three frames uh, just to create my effect. Just reduce the opacity, something like uh, 23 maybe, uh, and then do the same for the other ones. Um, so there we go, I think that's looking really good. So we've got our four inventions there from the Industrial Revolution and we've included a bit of information about what they did and how they contributed to industrial growth. Um, so now we're finished, I'm just gonna download my image. So I'm gonna press download. Uh, a PNG is fine, that's an image file. Press download and we can see in the top right it's downloaded it to our computer. Uh, I could also share it. So if I press the share button at the top, uh, I could share it straight to Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, or if I press publish to web, uh, I can give my work a title uh, and press publish link. It will generate a link and I can share that with whoever I like. So there you go. It's now your turn to create an infographic about four important inventions from the industrial revolution uh, with a bit of information about how they contributed to industrial growth.